Mark Rogers TV with you just three nights before the national championship game with Ohio State taking on Oregon. But who are we going to talk about? It's the Florida Gators. The reason why is because I watched some of the Birmingham Bowl, gathered some notes, and, and wanted to address the Florida Gators for 2015 at that point, but I'm getting around to it right now. So a team in flux, a program in flux, and, and looking to shake uh, some of the mediocrity from the Will Muschamp era and look forward to a new head coach, McIlwain, coming in from Colorado State. So this is what we've got for 2015. Let's keep in mind, talking defense first, that Dante Fowler, as a junior, is declared early. So after 15 tackles were lost and eight and a half sacks after one of the best players in the SEC, he's gone uh, also lost off the defense from 2014, Michael Taylor, who had 64 tackles and five tackles for loss as a senior. He's gone. Otherwise, a lot of star players back for 2015 in McIlwain's first season. You've got Antonio Morrison, who we saw, unfortunately, carted from the field in Birmingham after a hellacious, gut-wrenching type of injury in that one. Uh, the linebackers, a junior, had 101 tackles to lead the Gators. Also, uh, Jonathan Bullard, uh, the junior defensive lineman, had uh, eight and a half tackles for loss. Uh, Brian Poole, the junior, four interceptions, uh, had a pick six in the uh, bowl game as the Gators pulled it out against East Carolina to finish at seven and five. And finally, the star of the defense, Vernon Hargraves, the sophomore, one of the top cover corners in college football, will also come up and give you a pop. He had three interceptions on the season. Gone from the offense that was less than prolific, Matt Jones, who rushed for 817 yards and six touchdowns. He's gone as an early entry to the NFL draft. Uh, Kelvin Taylor coming back to be the featured back, 565 yards and six touchdowns, although the bowling ball, Adam Lane, was huge in the win over East Carolina, 16 carries for 109 yards and a touchdown after only having eight carries the entire season. So let that sink in. Lane with eight carries, for the regular season, 16 carries for 109 in the bowl game. Gone to the NFL early, guard Tyler Moore. Elsewhere from the offense, Jeff Driscoll. We talked about him uh, during the SEC in 60 and the situation with uh, the quarterback situation. And Jeff Driscoll, just a, just a disappointing career there in Gainesville, coming in as a top-flight five-star quarterback had the one decent season in 2012 as the Gators went 11-1 regular season. Uh, spearheaded by the great defense, Driscoll gets hurt in 2013 against Tennessee, then comes back, has a miserable first three or four games after a pretty good effort uh, in the opener and also against Kentucky, but quickly lost the starting job to Treon Harris, and Jeff Driscoll is headed to Louisiana Tech, announced last week. Treon Harris is a freshman, completed 49% of his passes, nine touchdowns, Four interceptions, ran for 332 and three touchdowns. Trion Harris is a project in the making. We'll see how much he can improve from his freshman to his sophomore season. Also offensively, you've got gone, not a huge loss in Quinton Dunbar, who caught 22 passes, two touchdowns, and also the tight end Clay Burton, 18 receptions and one touchdown. Andre Dubose, who aside from some dramatic returns, some explosiveness that he showed at times, too many injuries, not as productive as was expected out of Andre Dubose, who many thought would have a stellar big-time career in Gainesville. He finished up this season in 2014 with, count them, one pass reception and 21 kick returns. Back, Demarcus Robinson, by far the most productive wide receiver for the Gators, 53 catches, 810 yards and seven touchdowns. He comes back as a junior in 2015. And you also have Latroy Pittman, who caught 15 passes. New head coach uh, Jim McElwain made it clear during the Birmingham Bowl, as he was uh, interviewed in the press box, that he is really looking to beef up the offensive line. He sees that as thin and weak right now, and the pass rush on defense. He's looking for an impact player off the edge to create havoc in the opponent's backfield. Those are his two main focal points for the recruiting session coming up as we head towards signing day uh, the first week of February. Again, edge pass rusher needs offensive line help as the Gators have signed just nine commits or just have nine commits at this point 
Uh, that lags way behind most teams at this point. Three ESPN 300, top 300 commits for the Gators right now. Looking at 2015, the non-conference schedule looks like this. New Mexico State, East Carolina again, Florida Atlantic, and of course the rivalry game to conclude the season with Florida State. The crossover opponents, more difficult than usual. Out of the Western Division, the Gators will face Ole Miss and of course LSU. We'd love to hear what you have to say about the Gators. Let's talk it up right here on Mark Rogers TV.